G'day and welcome to another video. My name's Claire and I am the creator here behind Crochet with Claire. In today's video I'm going to talk about my top 10 things to buy for a crocheter. It doesn't matter if it's Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries, any occasion, no occasion. Just the top 10 things that a crocheter might want. Of course this is my list of my top 10 that I think crocheters would love. So let's get into it. Number one. A tote bag. Handy right? You can put your crochet items in there. You can put uh, works in progress in there. You can even use tote bags to grocery shop and if they're big enough you can take them away for the night because <laughs> I've done that too. <laughs> First tote bag we're going to talk about today is the Timoy tote bag. I have the large and the small version and they are both awesome. I cannot say this enough. I've had my large tote bag for a long time. I can't remember how long, a few years. I'll put a, a date across the screen when I figure it out, when I'm edit editing. They come with lots and lots of pockets. There's a big internal space for your, your yarn and your current project. There's yarn dividers in the big one. And it has uh, like, like little holes in the top, on the, in the top for your yarn to spread out. I'm going to insert some photos so that you can have a look and you can't just make it up out of your imagination of the way I'm describing it. It's got a great comfortable handle so it's easy to carry. It's got really good zips, like sometimes the zips are real cheap on things and they get stuck um, and they can even just fall apart but these I've had this project bag for years and it's still going strong. The small one is fantastic, so the big one is fantastic because you can fit, I made a baby's blanket, fit that in there with plenty of room. Plenty of room. Uh, the small one's great too. It has yarn dividers, plenty of pockets. They've both got places for your crochet hooks, like little slot things that you can put them in. And the small one is great for, say, a shawl project, a very small blanket, uh, hats, scarves. I would say a, a teenager to a child's jumper or garment. Not sure about an adult one for the small tote bag, but definitely the large. So any of the links that I provided in my description box below, they are affiliate links. And what that means is with no extra cost to you, if you'd like to purchase any of these products, use my link and I get a small commission. What that does is keeps these videos coming out. Um, if I cannot make a wage, because let's face it, at the end of the day, this is my job. If I can't make a wage, I have to go out and get a job. And there'll be no more videos. And I don't want that to happen because I've been doing it for more than 12 years and I love it. Number two on my list is a budget crochet hook set. I did a cro I, blah, blah, blah. I did a video review on these recently and well the video came out recently but inside information I actually filmed the video about a year ago and had time off for certain reasons and totally forgot it was there. So I've been using those crochet hooks for a year and I absolutely love them. They're budget friendly. Considering what's in the kit, the price is fantastic. You get lots of crochet hooks, you get stitch markers, you got the case that comes with it. There's scissors, there's all sorts of goodies in this uh, budget crochet kit. And when I release the video, lots and lots of people have commented and, say, and saying they purchased it. They may have purchased it previously to my review, um, but and then a lot of people have purchased it since. So it's really good because some crochet hook sets, they can cost upwards of $100, easily $100, which is a lot of money. Um, yeah, not everyone's got that sort of money. And I would not pay $100 because <laughs> I'm tight. So this budget hook set is fantastic. I can't remember the brand name. Uh, yeah, I can't remember, but it's really good. So next up on my list, number three, is stitch markers. Great, great thing for any crocheter. Stitch markers. You can never have too many. The couch eats them. The cat would eat them if I had a cat. A dog would probably eat them if I had a dog. They get... I found some under the lounge when I've been vacuuming and stuff. Definitely between the cushions. I found them in my car. Like, I don't crochet in my car. So I don't know why there was one in my car. I find them in random places in the house, like in a bedroom or somewhere where there's no crochet. But yeah, stitch markers. Really cheap. You can get super cheap ones as well. Personally, I don't like the really cheap ones because they do break. I find I 
maybe a bit too rough with them and, and you press them together to close them and they break. Uh, so I prefer the clove, clove, that's a very posh way to say it, clover crochet hooks. If you're an Australian, I will put Chantel Hills's link from Fiberific in the description box. She's a fantastic Aussie yarny. Yarn? Is that a thing? She sells all the good stuff to do with yarn. So I will put her link below. And Chantelle is also a great friend. Hi! She's probably not watching. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so my next one is number five on my list, and that's Knit Picks Yarn. Ugh. I personally haven't bought anything from Knit Picks for quite a while, but I have purchased from there before. And the other day, Chantelle did a unboxing on some Knit Picks Yarn. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure it was Brava Worsted and it was delicious. I'll also put the link for that video if you want to go and check it out as well. But yeah, Knit Picks. Who doesn't want knit something from Knit Picks? Even just a gift voucher from Knit Picks. That would be amazing. Number six on my list is blocking mats and T-pins. If you've never blocked a project, then good for you. <laughs> But if you want to block projects, blocking mats are a fantastic idea. They're basically just rubber mats and they come, the ones that I've seen, they come in like jigsaw puzzles. You can get them from knit pits, knit pits, <laughs> knit picks, but you can also get them from Amazon as well. I cannot remember where I bought mine from. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon. It's been so long I've had them, I can't remember. But you can get them on Amazon and you can also get T-pins on Amazon as well. They come in all different colours but they're like jigsaw pieces so if, you need a, if, if you've got a big project you can use lots and if you've got a small project you can use one. I had to block something yesterday and they were crochet samples, like little crochet samples about this big and uh, yeah I just had to block five, six, five or six of those so I just used one because of my blocking mats are like quite big just one piece I think they're 12 by 12 inches um, yeah it worked perfectly with just one and then I've blocked shawls where I've needed like five or six all in a row so yeah they're fantastic because you can make them to pretty much any shape that you need next up on my top 10 crochet gifts for crocheters is tote bag again different type of tote bag this time my sister bought me this crochet this <sighs> My sister bought me this tote bag for Christmas one year and it also had yarn in it. It's the only yarny gift I've ever received in my life from family members. What? If you're watching, hello. I'm the easiest person to buy for. <laughs> I don't need any more, but I can always use it. <laughs> oh, jokes aside. My sister bought me this tote bag and it's really cool. I absolutely love it and I use it all the time. Not just for crochet projects, I've taken it to the to the shops. I've had like my wallet in there and I've had my car keys and my phone and stuff. I use it for everything. A fantastic and very well priced thing is the project page that I designed and it's on my website. It is fantastic to keep track of projects and what you can do is you can write your yarn name down. You can write the crochet hook size that you use, the colour, the colour numbers what the pattern is called, who designed it. You can write notes in case you, you know, you've changed it a little, like changed the pattern up a little bit, or if you've taken measurements and you need to keep those in order as well, you can write those in the notes section. So it's a fantastic gift for any crocheter. It could also work for knitting as well. You'd have to change a few things, but I think it would work for knitting. It's a digital download, so you get instant access to it, and it's super cheap. So if you're on a super tight budget for gifts, it is a great gift. I also have my Etsy shop where I have my written patterns. So if you have wanted to read a written pattern, you could send the link to your friend or your family and they could just purchase it that way and you've got a written pattern. I also have downloadables. I'm going to put some photos across the screen. They're fantastic. I have a new Etsy store and there's some awesome crochet related printables in there. Again, they're super cheap. So if you're on a budget, they are a great gift. Last but not least is tulip crochet hooks. Now these crochet hooks are not a budget crochet hook. They're not really expensive. Like I've seen actual crochet hooks go for around $60. They're not like that. I would say they're around $10 a little bit more. The tulip crochet hooks are fantastic. I have over the years collected the set. <laughs> you know, you 
use one you're like oh I need a different size so over the years I do have I do have the, I'm pretty sure I have the full range. I don't have the really small crochet hooks because I don't use those. But anywhere from a two and a half up to about a six, I've got the crochet hooks for that. I do love them. They are very, very comfortable. They're really pretty. I have the pink ones and I'm pretty sure they come in grey as well. So if you wanted a crochet hook that's a little bit more luxurious, then tulip hooks are a really great crochet hook. Then it doesn't take away from those budget crochet hooks. If you're on a budget, they literally are the next best thing. Clover crochet hooks are fantastic as well but the budget crochet hook set if you're just beginning and you're not sure whether you're going to get into crochet the budget crochet hooks are fantastic too so if you uh, if tulip crochet hooks are not in your budget then check out the budget crochet hooks I cannot remember the brand maybe they don't have a brand I'm sure they do but yeah check them out all the links are in the description box below you don't need to pay anything to go and have a look at any of these links but like I said if you do make a purchase through those links like you may go to the Amazon tote bag that I've been talking about the uh, Timoy tote bag which is an Amazon purchase if you go over there and you think mm, I don't want to buy the tote bag but I need some insert thing here um, you can purchase through that link still and I still get a commission so you may end up buying I don't even know what Amazon sells completely but you may end up buying cat food or toilet paper as long as you've used my link I still get the little commission it's zero cost to you comes out of the money that Amazon gets and now I get paid for promoting their product so yeah like any other link below they are affiliate links and if you make a purchase through any of those thank you so much and I hope you're having a fantastic day I hope that someone loves you, buys you these gifts. If not, buy them yourself. <laughs> you can always treat yourself, can't we? Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy crochet. Bye.